The symptoms started about two years ago. I actually was experiencing excruciating headaches and dizziness. These headaches would sometimes lead me to lose vision in my left eye and would sometimes cause me to throw up. Then when we did the MRI, we actually saw an AVM. Surgery seemed like the only viable option to have her not become disabled or even worse. We're all good, we're all set. I love you. I love you too. So this is Oliver, and that's Remington over here. And that is Princey, the little guy, and the most ferocious. Come here, Remy. Right before the MRI, I actually passed out. So um, it had been progressively getting worse over the two years. The headaches had been getting worse. The dizziness had been getting worse um, until it eventually led me to pass out. It was unexpected to hear of an AVM. It's nothing I've ever heard of. I was a little stunned that there was something there since she's been born and that it could get worse. Some days all I do is lay in bed. I was a Division I athlete. I can't go to the gym without feeling like I'm going to pass out. Even walking down the street is hard. She talked about passing out the first time. That was completely unexpected. And all she did was walk up the steps to her bedroom. And we heard a loud thud. So we ran upstairs and she was out cold. It's just been really, really difficult on all, on all of us. We just don't know from one day to the next. I've already laid and held her because the pain has been so bad in the back of her head that she's not been able to deal with it. It's unbelievable how much stress we've been through. And it's just building until tomorrow's surgery. Yes, I have everything. Are you sure you packed everything? Yes. So tomorrow's a big day, Dad. Yeah, I'd say it's a little more than a big day. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, negative. I've had a couple surgeries over my 28 years. Dr. Chowdhury was just very personable. He was very knowledgeable about the AVM. He made me very comfortable. He made me feel like a person with an actual problem, and he made me feel like he wanted to fix that. I trust Dr. Chowdhury, and I trust my team at Penn. The heavy initial where circle, sign, print, date, and time. Good, because it's just rude. under the microscope to open the membrane around the brain called the dura and then we will start uh, working on resecting the AVM here. She's doing really well so far. So these are the two big blood vessels that we're supplying the AVM. We just put clips on them to control the bleeding while we're taking it out. Which was the reason why she was having a lot of these symptoms and pressure been completely removed here. Looks very good. So guys, we're going to do an angiogram and if that looks good, we're done. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good. How are you? good. It's been a long day, a little tired. These things sometimes, you know, take a good part of the day, but everything went very well. Um, and no problems in the surgery. We were able to take the whole AVM out and she did great. We did the intraoperative angiogram as well to confirm that there is no AVM left and that confirmed it. So uh, we were all closed up, we put the bandages on, we're just going to wake her up and make sure she's doing okay. And what should we expect? I'm hoping that her bad headaches and like those attacks she was having, of dizzy spells, those should hopefully get better. From my perspective, everything went great. Okay. okay. Hello. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Hi. 
So we've come a long way. Yeah. Okay. From my perspective, you did very well. Awesome. And um, we got the whole AVM out. Your angiogram looked very good. How's uh, your um, the headache you were having on the left side? You literally took my headache out of my head. Oh, so it's gone. I feel so much okay. better. Good. The pressure's gone. The dizziness, yeah. like yeah. all of the pressure and the head pain that I had is gone. Good. My head feels the best it's felt in a good. really long time. Good. Come on, Princey. Come on, baby. It's time to go for your walk. We're about two months out, and I feel fantastic. I'm not symptomatic at all. I was elated that she was so much better in that short period of time. I just never expected it to be that way. Dr. Chowdhury was just incredible. He far exceeded my expectations. I would choose Penn again in a heartbeat. The compassion and the friendliness of the staff, and I mean, the outcome. Second day, they released her. So it's remarkable. I'm slowly getting back to doing what I used to do. I'm driving, I'm back at work. Only four hours a day, but we're getting there. I can shower on my own, thankfully. <laughs> There's just been a 100% turnaround from the way she was. It's pretty miraculous to see her back to her old self. Feels good to have that independence and slowly get that back. It feels good to get my life back.